In big security, to save America, we need another 9-11. That's what one columnist is advocating as a way to unite America. Nearly six years after the heinous terror attacks, he says, we have forgotten our enemy. He says the Iraq war has divided the U.S. The Republicans and Democrats are on the attack over the war. We pulled together after 9-11, but he justifies his controversial statement by saying the United Front just didn't last. And now, Bloggers are outraged. Some say the journalist should be fired from his job for suggesting we, quote, need another attack. So is this just a means to shock or offend, or does this columnist actually have a valid point? Well, he's here now live to explain. Philadelphia Daily News columnist Stu Biofsky. So, Stu, uh, let me let you say it again. Uh, what do you say America needs at this point? Well, my thesis here is that uh, we're terribly divided. There's disunity in this country, and as a divided country, we're weak. When I look back over what has pulled the country together over the past few years, 9-11 united the country, and it remained united, and we were all on the same team for at least a year or two. Stu, but do you mean to say that we are going to be attacked again, we will be united again, that's a sort of inevitability to that, or that in order to achieve this unity, we actually need to suffer? Uh, John, I didn't actually call for an attack on the United States. Uh, I can see where people read it that way, but I didn't actually say it. However, another attack on the United States is inevitable. I believe that, don't you? Yes, I do, actually. And I okay. think it's going to take a lot of dead people to wake America up. I think the deal, Steve, is, Stu, I'm sorry, is, okay. is the word need. I mean, if you say, well, it's going to happen and, it, you know, Americans are going to die because we've let down our guard, one thing. But when you say we need an attack, it especially John, it has riled relatives of the dead. John, I, I can understand them being upset. Uh, are you reading from the headline or from the text of my column, which well, I don't have in front of Well, that's a good point. Did you use the word need in the text or was it only the headline? It's the headline. So you don't actually, you don't endorse the word need. Uh, no, I don't. There, there was a slight difference. Other people write headlines, and it's not exactly what I was trying to say. All right. So, but, but, but if, if you, but if you look at the context, what you're trying to say is, is that, that somehow we have been, we've let down our guard. We are fighting each other instead of the terrorists, and that if we don't get it together, people are going to die. That's absolutely correct. We're fighting like a group of rabid dogs, and our attention should be turned elsewhere. And I also say that the primary reason for that, in my opinion, is the, uh, the war in Iraq, which has been conducted so horribly by the administration. Stu. Not uh, by our troops. Yeah, okay. I don't want to get you in further trouble, Stu. Uh, what has been the reaction? Did the newspaper switchboard light up? Uh, no, we don't have a switchboard, John. Uh, yesterday, when it appeared, the reaction was moderate, because I think people in Philadelphia who have been reading me for a long time maybe know what to expect. Then it got posted somewhere outside of Philadelphia, and this morning when I came in, uh, there were well over a thousand emails and more kept coming in during the, uh, the day. A bunch want you fired, right? Pardon? A bunch of those uh, uh, emails want you fired, right? Uh, a number of people told me that they were calling my editor and they were going to suggest that he fire me. Yes, I, I don't think that's going to happen. You standing by the column? Oh, absolutely. Stu Bioski, down in Philadelphia. Stu, thanks a lot. Thanks, The big update.